There are faves and then there are problematic faves. Why do so many of us have a soft spot for some not so great characters? Culture has always had a thing for villains. We love bad boys, rebels, and femme fatales. But the problematic fave is a kind of new conception. So how is it that we're able to love a character while at the same time being totally aware of the ways in which they, well, kind of suck? But there's a difference between ignoring someone's real-world toxic behavior and rooting for a fictional character, even if they're kind of hateful. Almost all of the characters in Succession are selfish and manipulative, but that's also what's so fun about them. And the flashes of humanity that come through in the midst of that problematic behavior do hit differently. And it's that tension that's at the heart of the problematic fave that makes them so compelling. Because yes, while they are problematic, there's also got to be something to make us root for them a self-awareness, a humanity, and a belief that one day they might just change.